you'll doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange. The traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. Queen's Fiend? What business brings her here, I wonder? The Queen has come! You look well, Paquine. Catonier, I see you've already taken to your new position. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachi. Me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them, who they are and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. And it would appear that she is well-loved in turn. Your Majesty! <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? Tuliolol's vow of resolve Wuk Lamart and her companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people, and are to be treated as my honored guests. The rumors of a link to the outside are true, then. Wuk Lamont is still so young. Ah, oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Popone? That is a ton of Walton rig to it. Right you are. I take it you hail from this region as well? Teshpiani, perhaps? Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kafkiwa? Kafkiwa? Hmm... I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Oh. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. You know my mother? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please. Where is she? I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. I have a question, Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble, there was a brilliant flash of light, and then... <clears throat> Forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Papone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not remembering. 
30 years. As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is... Thirty years. Little wonder Zorolja assumed our father had already passed away. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. Perhaps the same holds true here, and time flowed faster within the dome. I cannot say for certain, but I strongly suspect that to be the case. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. If we're to be certain of anything, we need more information. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Time to see what we can see of Alexandria then. And its people. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasolani. Even if I don't understand the half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zoroja. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Though we have always prided ourselves on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods, the use of electro fuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please, you needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all, and I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. Reassuring words, or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. <laughs> Very well, but do be careful. Of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Now then. If you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. I can't say that I trust her yet, but I trust that her affection for these people is genuine, and that's enough for me.